Well, hello everybody. I'm Travis DeRose, and today we're going to the Fullerton Fender Museum. Actually, I think the Fullerton Museum is what it's called, but they have a Leo Fender exhibit. So I actually did an interview with a, a man named Ian Port, who wrote a book called The Birth of Loud, which is all about the kind of invention of the electric guitar with Leo Fender, Les Paul, uh, Paul Bixby, too. It's a really good book. Really good book. Uh, my interview with him, episode 65, was did it a while ago. Um, I'll have a link to that, but just a really fun interview. His book is really good, too. So figured I should come here to Fullerton and check out this uh, Leo Fender exhibit. So let's go. So here is the Fullerton Museum Center, home of the Leo Fender Gallery. This is Future Travis editing the video. Uh, sorry for creepily whispering throughout this video. It was really quiet in this museum and pretty awkward to talk. So this is a lap steel guitar, one of the first electric guitars. And here it is, the Fender Telecaster. Wow, look at that thing. 1957. It's 70 years old. I call it the Telecaster because uh, it was originally called the Broadcaster, but TV just came out, so that was all popular, so let's call it the Telecaster. This is the, uh, the first Telecaster. The, the neck would warp because the strings would be too tight, so you, they had to put the metal rod through the neck. Hmm. Uh, a Jaguar here from 1965. Not not as iconic as the Telecaster, but quite a cool guitar nonetheless. And check out this old Fender amp wrapped in tweed. An old Fender radio before he was making guitars and amps. And here's the original factory. Apparently it would get so hot in August they had to close down for two months, reluctantly. But uh, I'm here in August right now and it's almost 100, so I get that. And look, here's the factory floor, look at that. Here are some pickups. The the heart of the electric guitar right there. And here is the Stratocaster. Oh boy. A reproduction, not an original, but still quite cool. They shaped it up a bit more so it's a little more comfortable than the Telecaster, you can see. Rounded it off. And lighter than a Les Paul. And check out this Fender Banjo, which apparently was quite good. This banjo even has Leo's name right on it. Apparently Leo sold the company to CBS, which a lot of people were not very happy with and led to a bit of a decline in quality and everything, but they seem to have recovered. All right, well, it's a nice short little museum um, in the shade here, but uh, it was interesting. Pretty much just that one room, so you can get through it pretty quick if you're interested, but uh, they do have other exhibits, I guess, in there that kind of travel and, and change a little bit. But uh, I guess there's some Leo Fender sites here in Fullerton, because that's where he was. So I'm going to go check those out, see if I can find some, maybe his uh, factory or his shop. Let's go. Right there, that little building, 107 uh, Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, was the site of Fender's radio service in the 1940s, established 1946. Oh, that's Ellingson, not, not Fender. But uh, that building's been around since, I believe, the 1910s or so. Uh, but Fender rented it out, and he had his uh, shop in the front where he'd sell TVs and and radios and eventually guitars and songbooks and all that kind of stuff and in the back is where he had his uh, his warehouse where he tinkered and and this is the site where he developed his solid body electric guitar right in the back there pretty cool 
We're here at uh, 100 South Pomona Avenue, still in Fullerton, just a couple blocks away from that last spot. And this was the site of his uh, larger, the larger Fender factory. After he outgrew that little uh, shop there, he, he put up a couple buildings here and uh, on this site. And this was the site of the Fender factory where the first Telecasters and Stratocasters were made. I got a little, a little mural for him. I guess that, that's Leo right there. Oh yeah, it definitely says Leo Fender, clearly a Strat. Here's a nice further away shot showing the location, just the parking structure now at the train station, but this is where it was, where it all began. Well, that was a fun little adventure. Just a small little museum, 10 bucks to get in. Kind of overpriced, but you know, you're supporting the local museum, so that's good. Uh, you know, check it out if you're interested in uh, guitars, music, history, Leo Fender, anything like that. And uh, it's in downtown Fullerton, which is a cool little area. There's a lot of bars and, and shops and an arcade down here too called Level Up, I think. So, uh, fun little stop. Not the best museum ever, but if you're around, take a trip, take a stop. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy, and these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats, and all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video, and this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay. I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats. And all you have to do is click that subscribe button right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button, subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good. We're all not very good.